experiences really give a better picture of what life is like in the real world for working families. In addition to the human cost, the obviously emotional cost that you've described today, I think the economic cost is very real as uh, we have lower participation of women in the workforce uh, and related workforce shortages that we're hearing about from one business sector after another. Uh, navigating child care and parenting in this pandemic clearly can cause the type of crushing burden that you have described. Even parents who can afford child care who each morning drop off their child are uncertain whether they'll be called because of a quarantine uh, to pick up their child. I know personal instances of that uh, in, in our area. And uh, they never know whether they're going to have the leave to permit them to do that or they will risk losing their job by staying with the child. Much like what you've described, uh, I think of Jessica in my hometown of Austin who worries about her two-year-old daughter. Uh, that is more than just normal concern of a parent because she's been, her daughter's been sick repeatedly and she does not have paid leave or unpaid days the next time her daughter turns up unable to stay in child care. For many others uh, who are unable to afford child care, a family member, usually a woman, must leave the workforce altogether and stay in order to protect that family. Throughout the highs of new life with new children and the lows of loss, caregivers are clearly being forced to put their lives on hold. They should not have to put their paycheck and their work opportunity and the economic security of their family on hold. Paid leave, which is really paid stay, the opportunity for a limited stay with an aging parent, a new baby, or to deal with a specific medical problem like our witnesses have just described, can help bridge the gap. Uh, for Sarah, another constituent of mine in Austin, paid leave provided the time she needed to recover from a very difficult unplanned C-section. I agree with her when she said it's unconscionable that so many women in this country have to go back to work so soon after going through such a physically and emotionally taxing experience as having a child. Though it's not a panacea for every uh, caregiving need, comprehensive paid leave enables workers to care for themselves and their loved ones in the short term and plan for necessary long-term care. Other supports that are so vital, like greater access to child care, expanded home and community-based services, and the child tax credit, were all steps that we approved over considerable obstruction and over continued obstruction in the Senate to try to help families help themselves with their economic future and their well-being. Ms. Price, let me ask you, as a, as a parent of three, uh, who's described in a, in a very strong fashion the challenges that you face with them and your elderly mother, can you describe what kind of assistance you believe would be most helpful to your family to continue your essential work as a nurse? Thank you, sir. What I would need is a paid leave. The problem for me is at the time when I had to take off work, there was no paid leave. So I was home caring for my son, caring for my mother, and having to make decisions to whether I was going to get her medicine, pay for groceries, put gas in the car to take my son to therapy who had to have intense therapy at least three to four times a week. So I think that if I had had paid, paid leave, I would, have, I would have had less pressure. I would have been able to pay a bill and not have to worry about whether I eat and my mom and my son eat or uh, just those two were going to eat because many nights and days I had to choose that I not eat, but they had to have their needs met. So paid time off would have really tremendously took, taken a lot of pressure off of me. Well, thank you very much, and thanks for the testimony of each of you. It, it does provide some real insight in our work and hopefully an incentive to reduce the amount of obstruction that we've been facing and producing some real results for uh, working families. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Thank you.